G'day guys, it's Oliver here from Pacific Toyota. Just giving you the virtual tour of our 2016 Holden Colorado LS. Now, I'd just like to give you a bit of a run through one of our showrooms here in Cairns. Uh, this is one of two of our showrooms here in, uh, in Cairns, Queensland. Uh, this one being situated at 77 Mulgrave Road, the other being at 235 Mulgrave Road. As you can see, we have plenty of stock uh, and a very large variety of, uh, of vehicles all the way through from your uh, your utes all the way through through to your SUVs uh, and uh, back up to your uh, your four wheel drives. Now I'd just like to get back to the virtual tour on the uh, Colorado. Now this is just a detailed run through the vehicle just to show you any stone chips or scratches or anything that may need a bit of attending to. If anything that if anything does catch your attention, please don't hesitate to let me know and I'll do my best to rectify the issue. As you can see, all the bonnet here is all in excellent condition. Uh, it's all, as you, as you can see, all the paint's in really, really good nick. There's hardly any uh, stone chips or, or scratches or anything like that. Just running through to the, uh, the front of the vehicle now. So you can see all in really, really good condition. Just running through to the passenger side now. And as you can see, plenty of tread left on your, uh, on your front passenger side tire. Still plenty of kilometers on those. And as you can see, you just got your uh, your passenger side door, all in really, really good condition. Now I'll just run you through a little bit of the uh, interior. As you can see, all your uh, all your seats are all in really good condition, all really good stitching. Uh, there's no cuts or burn holes or anything like that on the uh, seats, which is really good to see. Uh, and as you can see as well, all your floor, all in really good condition as well. Yeah, you do just have your uh, speaker just there. Just got your cup holders just there as well. Electric windows and just your your door handle as well. So all in really good condition along the uh, along the interior of the vehicle. Now I'll just keep running through to the uh, just the back passenger sides. As you can see, all the back passenger doors are all in really good nick. There is just a little bit of a brush touch being done there, but uh, you know, we just want to be as transparent as we can with the, our uh, with our vehicles. And once again, as you can see, all the interior is all in really good condition. There's no, uh, no burn holes, no cuts or anything like that in the seats. Do you have just your, your little armrest in here as well, as you can see. That does fold down just for your, uh, for your back passengers. And as you can see, all the back of the seats are all in really good condition as well. All your uh, inside of your doors are all in really good nick as well. You do just have a couple little marks in there but nothing too major just got your speakers cup holders there electric windows and just your door handles as well now just coming through to the uh the back of the vehicle just the uh the back left hand side of the vehicle as you can see there's still plenty of tread left on your uh your back passenger side tire still plenty of k's left on those as you can see you do have your hard top cover for your uh for your tub and as you can see, just running through to the uh, back of the vehicle now, you do just have your LS uh, badge just there, just your Holden badge there as well, and uh, just your Colorado badge there too. Now, I'll just open this up just to show you what's underneath, just inside the, uh, inside the tub. Lovely big tub on the inside, as you can see. Uh, just there, you do have your, uh, your secondary battery uh, just sitting in the back there. So all in really good condition along the uh, on the inside of this hub here. And I'll just open up the back, just give you a bit of a view. So that's it all opened up all along the back there. Now, you can ju you just have your, uh, your reversing camera just there as well, just for a bit of added extra safety. And I'll just show you. A little bit underneath, as you can see, you do have your uh, your spare tire and all in really good condition underneath the vehicle as well. Uh, you do just have your reversing sensors just there as well. You got four on the back, all up, so it's uh, just a bit of added extra safety. So just run through to the driver's side now, as you can see, all really clean, really neat and tidy along the uh, along the driver's side of the tub. Uh, there is just a tiny, tiny little chip. Sorry, I just got my camera to focus. Uh, just a tiny little chip there, but nothing. Nothing too major, still plenty of tread left on your, uh, your back driver's side tires. Still in excellent condition. 
and as you can see you do just have your uh, back passenger door all in really good condition once again uh, just a couple little couple little marks just there just with the uh, with the paint but nothing too major and as you can see you do just have the uh, your uh, back of the uh, front seat just there all in really good condition once again all the back uh, back passenger seats and as you can see all floors in in excellent condition as well it's just a little bit of a little bit of fluff there now we'll just keep running through to the driver's side now as you can see all the driver's side doors all in great condition as well uh, you just got your rear view mirrors there just your indicators just there as well but all in really good neck along the uh along the driver's side door just there and lastly, you do just have your, your front uh, driver's side tyre. Still plenty of tread left on those as well. Still in, still in really good condition. Alright, so I'll just jump inside. We'll just run through the, uh, the driver's side of the vehicle. As you can see, all the, uh, all the dash is in excellent condition as well. There's no, uh, no sun damage or anything like that on the vehicle, which is really good to see. As you can see, there's no uh, no warnings on the on the dash just there. Just got all your uh, audio settings just there. So obviously, you, um, just got all your radio stations just there. You can change through all through to your uh, Bluetooth audio uh, and everything like that as well. And you can also just do all your controls from your uh, your steering wheel as well. So you can just change through your stations just there. Uh, you got all your volume controls as well on your steering wheel. As you can see, I'm controlling all the all the volume from here, and you do just have your uh, your Bluetooth controls as well, just on the uh, on the steering wheel, just there. So you just have your answering and hanging up phone calls, and you just have your uh, voice recognition as well. Now, just on the uh, right hand side, you do have your cruise control settings. So you just got your just turn the uh, cruise control on, and then you just got your set and uh, and resetting of the cruise control. Just got all your uh, air conditioning functions there as well obviously position uh, fan speed or, you know, all your temperature and everything just got your traction control just there and your uh, downhill assist control as well got your 12 volt plugs just there and another one just there as well and here are your uh, four wheel drive settings just there so you do have your two high four high and four low and as you can see, just in the uh, center console here, you do just have your uh, USB and auxiliary ports just there as well. So all in really good condition along the interior. Now, I'll just grab the uh, service book and we can just have a bit of a bit of a run through the service history on the vehicle. Now, as you can see, you do have your, uh, sorry. There you go. So you do, do just have your first service done there. It's uh, 15,900 uh, 15, and um, 70 kilometers on the uh, 30th of the 6th, 2017. I've just got your um, 28,000 kilometer service and it's uh, 28,893 kilometers on the 7th of the 11th, 2017. Just got your 45,000 kilometer service there, done at uh, 55,501 uh, on the 5th of the 11th, 2018. Just got your 60,000 kilometer service there, done on uh, 70,942 kilometers at, uh, on the 23rd of the 5th, 2019. Got your 75,000 kilometer service there, done at 76,807 at the uh, 5th of the 11th, 2019. And a 90,000 kilometer service there, done at um, 86,222 uh, on the 6th of the 10th, 2020. And, uh, oh, sorry, just got your, uh, your last service done there by uh, by us, Coral Motors, at um, 93,000 kilometers, uh, 93,529 kilometers on the uh, 16th of the 8th, 2020. So as you can see, there is uh, 93,651 kilometers on the clock. And next service is in June until the, uh, sorry, until the, uh, the 5th, 2022, or, in the, uh, or at 108,500. So I'll just pop the bonnet, you can have a bit of a, uh, bit of a look through the engine bay. Give me a warning. As you can see, while underneath the bonnet's all in really good condition. 
really neat and tidy. Uh, there's no unusual ticks or noises or anything coming from the engine, which is really good to hear. All right, that is your virtual tour of your uh, Holden, Colorado. Thank you.